Sudanbo won't debate with Obi unless he tells us any political party he formed. Festus Kanyamo, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. A few hours ago, Minister of State, Labour and Employment and Director of Public Affairs and Spokespersons, Sunimbu Shitima Presidential Campaign Council, Festus Kanyamo San, was reported to have responded to Labour Party's challenge to Sunimbu for a debate with Obi. <laughs> Sincerely, I am almost, almost really on the floor. You know the detail, please. He stated that his presidential candidate, Turnbull, will not stand in a debate with Obi unless he tells them any political party formed and his contribution to democracy. According to him, Obi should explain to them if he has formed any political party or even partnered with any group to form one like Turnbull has done in the past. He also said that Obi will state whether he belongs to a party formed because Turnbull is part of those who formed the APC and still belongs to the party. Furthermore, he made it clear that the Labour Party presidential candidate should lease the democratic credentials, what he did to contribute to the return of democracy from military rule. He said, and I quote, Before Tenemu debates with Obi, he should tell us any political party he has formed or partnered to form and which he still belongs to today. Then he should lease his democratic credentials, meaning what he did to contribute to the return to democracy from military rule and what he has done since then, that is better than a strategy to sustain our democracy in Nigeria. He said that if these conditions are met, then the All Progressive Congress will send their spokesperson to engage in the debate with Obi. Imagine the insult of the highest order. They will send a spokesperson to engage. Sometimes when Festus, when Festus comes out to speak like this, he's asking how come out and debate. And the thing is, funny enough, they keep thinking that the debate is to humiliate them. That's the thing. Come out and sell yourself. Market your product. If you don't market your product, your product no will say. That is just the truth. Come out and tell Nigerians, this is what I want to do. And me, I've even raised the bow. I don't know why they're even just telling them to come out and debate. They will come out and they will say what they want to do. They will come out and they will tell us. They will be able to, you know, when you have a plan in mind as an entrepreneur, hmm? Or is a business as an entrepreneur? And you have envisioned, oh, this is how my company will be in the next five, ten years and the next eight years. You will be able, you will be able to help us to see, you will explain it to help us see the vision you see. So that we can invest in that particular, you know, vision. What we are saying is, let the APC, apart from even coming to show us and convince us, let them also show us how, how it is this, but because how it is being done because APC is just like 2015 where they have not given them any chance. But this one, they have given them chance. That like in 2015, they have not been able to convince Nigerians, even after eight years. So they should come with fact as in, okay, apart from us talking and showing you people, let us also, sh I mean, apart from talking and convincing you people, let us also show you people how we are going to be able to do these things. They can learn their ideas. Lend it to the sitting administration and let the sitting administration use the ideas and let we see how far these people can go. That's my own. The debates, they keep thinking that, oh, it's to humiliate them, but it is for us. Let us, let us even hear from you how these things are going to be done. Okay? Hmm. I'm sure Kenyamo family will be ashamed of him now. What a beauty. Okay? It is obvious that the All Progressive Congress has a way of recording the minds of its members from integrity to stupidity. Oh my goodness. Recording, rather, the minds of its members of its, of its members from integrity to stupidity. So Kenya is this empty. Nigerians should wise up for 2023. We must take back our country. Because I do not understand. Look, you form party. You fight for democracy. Yes, I'm giving it to Jagaban. But that is not, that does not mean you are going to be, be a good leader. Just like someone now, you cannot be a jack of all trades. You are going to be jack in one. I mean, you can be a jack of all trades, but you cannot be a master. You must be master of one. At least of one. So, even Jagaban too have places that, yes, he did not, has things that he did not do. And my own, I'm saying, okay, you're coming out to say, let me even list what he said, so I don't even uh, misquote him. He said, so they will not stand in a debate with Obi unless he tell them any political party formed. I see if that is the criteria. I see that is the criteria for good leadership. Then Obi should explain to them if he has formed any political party or even partnered 
with any group to form one like Tenubu has done in the past. Then he said, Obi is also going to say whether it belongs to a party formed because Tenubu is part of those, as if that is another criteria for effective and good leadership. Then number three, he said he made it clear that the Labour Party presidential candidate should list the democratic credentials, what he did to contribute to the return of democracy from military rule. Uh-huh. I see that is also part of it. And then he said, before Tenobu debate it would be, he should tell us any political party he formed. And then he said, if he now does these things, then he will send a spokesperson to engage. Spokesperson. Him, Naba. I weep for my country, you. I will tell you, I weep. It's a debate about P2B. I thought it's supposed to be about Nigerians. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. The electorate. These people talk like they're king megas and king themselves. I hear Nigeria. I'm telling you. It is an insult to ask the government to debate with you. What insolence? So democracy has turned where you do not know your mate. What do you mean by mate? Hey, hey. What do you mean by mate? It's obvious that you have never worked in a, in a government parasitical before or in an organization. They know they get mate for organization. In an office, you see someone who is 27, 28, 30 years, giving all that to someone who is 50. That person is a HOD. That person is a CEO. Your so-called 50, 60, or even 65, even 70 years is, you know, is just a worker. He never reached level with that one day. So that one, there is nothing like meat. It's obvious <laughs> you're speaking from a point you don't understand what you're saying, Sha. Of course, you know, debating with a bill amount to digging his own grave. He lacks the intellectual capacity to do so. I laugh you. Can Obi even debate? Obi has never debated what he does is talking. Ah, that is what debate is. You are going to be able to, you are going to be able to tell the crowd, this is what I will do. You convince them, now me be the right man for the job. That is a debate. Tell Nigerians, this is what I will do. This is our way to go about it. Wow Nigerians with your plans. Give Nigerians what they want to hear. Make Nigerians understand that you too understand their problem and hence you're the best man that can do the job because you understand the problem because you are also have solution and you prove to them that you have the solution by telling them how you're going to be solving this problem. That's what the bit is all about. You're saying it's just talking. Huh. Okay. Nigeria and Nigerians are not slaves and property of APC. They're not in position to detect to the people. Kenya man cool should be properly guarded. Then vote for others. You have a track record of all the candidates are well known. We do not need lies. Peter B is all about spilling lies and seeing what he what he will do. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but what has he done in the past political position? All his likes were deponged by Saludo, Obiano and others. Only disjointed South East use and I pop elements are jostling for his candidacy so that they can act there. So that they can start the act of lawlessness in the South East and bring it to the national level. Hmm. Okay, that's what you think. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.